This is part two of the 2011 Harley Davidson Sports or battery removal process. I forgot to mention that uh, the normal order of operations is you're supposed to remove the negative terminal first and then the positive. But because the way this bike is configured and with such tight spaces, you have to remove the positive terminal first in order to get to the negative. And so what I do is I, I put this uh, rubber cap on just to prevent any any shortages or accidental contacts um, and that's why it's super important to remove the main fuse because you have to do the reverse and uh, also don't forget to turn the uh, run switch on and then remove the fuse you might get a little uh, spark but that's okay no problem the other thing that you could do is uh, to preserve the battery if you don't want to remove it is you go to the other side of the bike and I don't know if you can see it, but there is a, a connection where the, right there, I don't know if you could see it right there, where the tip of my finger is, where the negative cable uh, connects to the casing. You can unscrew that, and that way you don't have to take out the battery, it'll preserve it a little longer, but it's such a pain in the ass to get to that bolt. You would need some type of a of a uh, long extension with one of those uh, joint movable joint uh, uh, connectors to get to that, and uh, it's it's a real pain in the ass. So, but that's another option for you if you don't want to remove the battery, and that's pretty much it. I hope uh, this helps somebody. Um, but the more you do it, the easier it becomes. All right, take care. Bye.